Okay, to start out, we want to give you the basics of how a derailleur works. What you've got here is the derailleur itself and your cassette, which has your gears on it. And a cable here attaches this derailleur to up to your shifters. So when you shift, as you can see here, this derailleur is moving up and up and up and up into your easiest gear up here, which is the largest cog on the cassette. And then as I shift back down, this derailleur then moves into the hardest gear, which is actually the smallest cog. And that's the basics of how your derailleur moves, and we'll show you again from another angle. Okay, here's another shot of the rear derailleur from the back. As I shift, the chain moves into a smaller cog here on the cassette, and you can see that the derailleur itself, this part is called the parallelogram, is moving down towards the other gears. So as you shift, that derailleur just moves up and down, and the chain moves here around the cassette and into the chain wheels here, or pulleys as they're sometimes called, and back around to the cranks. Okay, I want to give you the basic parts of the rear derailleur shifting system as well. So as you can see, we've got several things here. This is the cassette, which has all the gears, and the chain moves over that cassette. So as you shift, you can see the chain move again up and down the cassette into your easiest gear, which is the low gear, and down into the smallest cog, which is your high gear. Now, you'll also notice you've got this loop, and that's the housing here that houses the cable and protects it. And that comes here to the crimp bolt, which holds that cable taut. So what you want to do is loosen or tighten that whenever you need to hold this cable tight. And then you've also got your limit screws here, your high screw, which limits how far the chain can move this way and your low screw here, which limits how far the chain can go this way. And now this derailleur as well has these two wheels, one here, one here, called the jockey wheels or chain pulleys. And this is what actually moves the chain up and down as you're pedaling. So you always have to be pedaling in order to shift the bike. So in each step, make sure that you are pedaling as you check each step, and you'll be able to figure out what's going on.